morning, friends. We are in the basement for my workout today. <laughs> my personal trainer's coming and, oh wait, no, I do not have a personal trainer. <laughs> Although one of my best friends is a personal trainer, but she lives in Chicago, <laughs> so she can't be mine. Otherwise, no, I wish I were that on it, but I am not. Anywho, um, it's kind of messy in here. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run on the treadmill for a bit, watch a million little things. That show is really good. Um, and then maybe do some like strength training or like some ab workouts or something. I usually just go to YouTube, by the way, a lot of you guys ask, I usually just go to YouTube and type in like 10 minute ab workout and then just kind of skim and see, or like 10 minute arm because yeah, that's all. And then there's 20 minutes. There's so much on YouTube. So if you're paying for a program and you're not using it, you'd be shocked what you can find on YouTube. You're watching this on YouTube. I know you know. You guys are probably not the audience that needs to hear this. Anyway, okay. Hey. Her <laughs> little, yeah, fast in it. She slept in, although she didn't sleep in it a ton, but she slept in it when she well, was in the room. Well, when yeah. she was with us, yeah. yeah. Um, she, uh, we're getting rid of it. She's too big for it now. We tried to layer in it the other day, and she just, like, fills up the whole thing. And, like, well, and now like, that once they can start, like, getting up on their yeah, knees and right. rocking, it's not safe. So, anyway, yeah. it's sad, but we figured we were going to keep it. We were like, it could be a couple years. We figured we'll pass it on. I might ask my sister. She's not having a baby right now, but she probably will again. Just see if she wants it or, um, anyway. So, and if not, we might just donate it. So, that will be gone. We're also taking apart the Mamaru because Gigi... That yeah. swing is... She never really liked that thing, though. She, yeah, she like, liked it when she was really, really small. But after that, she really... I don't know. Yeah. Just kind of hit or miss is what it was. She liked yeah. like the regular swings way more, which yeah, we borrowed my sister's, actually. Yeah. We need to give them back because she's almost too big for that, too. Right? Look at her. She's going to be crawling soon. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Any day now. Uh, Genevieve. Look at that. <laughs> Hi, Crawly. You're almost there. Yeah. I swear sometimes she does crawl, though, because, like, she's sitting on the floor. Like, if she's sitting on the floor like that, and I'm, like, unscrewing this, and I look over, and she's, like, three feet away from where she was, I'm like, how did you do that right. in ten seconds? It's crazy. You guys got to see her shirt. This One is what happens, this. yeah, when Daddy dresses her in the morning. This is what happens. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> um, yes. A couple people have asked us about our, our big like bowls here that we use for like salads and stuff. We got these at Costco and actually we got these originally and we really liked them and they, we just happened to be walking through Costco and saw them mm -hmm. and they were like, we liked the look of them and everything. So we got these um, and then we were like, man, we really wish we had gotten eight because it was a set of four. And then we saw in their like catalog that they had more and we're like, yes. And then we went and it was like not quite the same. It's the same size, same shape. It's just the pattern the one edging. versus, yeah. Um, but we use these all the time. We just really like them. And we were like, you know, if we, cause we were like, well, what if we're hosting <laughs> elegant dinner party? Then we can do like, we'll just do like every other, <laughs> every she, other she, one. My, so my mom and dad got her this little <laughs> reindeer toy and she's obsessed. Loves it. Especially with the little red nose that she can chomp on. Side note, this morning we both investigated, actually of our own accord, weirdly, we were looking at her teeth. Yeah. All four have broken through on the top. I know. And she's happy she's to She's I cannot believe. I can't believe. And I every once in a while she'll be super fussy and we're like, all right, and we'll give her some time and all. Because, I mean, there are four coming in all at the same time, all next to each other. He found a sun patch. Best sun patch in the house. So I just posted on Pinocchio's Instagram, which is Pinocchio the Beagle. Um, I just posted a picture of him and a sun patch, although the sun has moved and that is a part of the caption. So why is the sun always moving when I wake up from my dreams? So if I were a good boy, go follow him. He says, I post on there sometimes. Mostly my mommy and daddy do it too. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I'm making for dinner tonight. I mean, it's only at 1 p.m., but I'm gonna put this in the crock pot. This is another one that one of you guys sent on Twitter. I'll put your name on the screen. Thank you so much. I have been excited to make this one for a while. So um, it calls for a pound of Italian sausage, which I've had defrosting in the fridge overnight. Um, cause we will usually buy a couple of pounds um, and just freeze it cause we don't use uh, that very often, but it's nice to just have in the freezer. Uh, so 32 ounces of chicken broth, a can of diced tomatoes, 
couple cans of tomato soup. Um, what I did for this, it called for two, oh no, I think I did get that. Two containers of uh, chive and onion cream cheese, and then um, some tortellini. I actually, it's frozen. I'm gonna try putting it in there frozen. So this is what it is. I just cut it in half, and I'm gonna put the other half back in the freezer, and then I'm gonna put this in the fridge, because it looks like I don't need to put it in until the last, like, 30 minutes or so. So I've got, like, six hours for it to kind of defrost. So this is another tool I use. This one is from Pampered Chef. Um, it's like their mix and chop or I'm, I'll, I'll find it online. <laughs> I'm sure I'm butchering what it's called. This thing is amazing. You can use it for so much, but I, I use it when I make guacamole. Like if I take avocado and I'm like mashing it up, I also use it for, uh, ground meats. This is really hard to do with my left hand. I'm realizing, hold on. But over time, the pieces just get smaller. Ooh, paper, get it off, get it off. Oh, Jessica. Mm, I love that sound. Pinocchio saw his friend the squirrel and he hasn't seen the squirrel in a long time and he was very excited now all he wants to do is be outside hi Gigi I see you so I'm trying to quickly finish up this uh, crock pot meal so <laughs> you add um, I added the tomato soup and the chicken broth and of course the browned uh, meat um, and then some diced tomatoes so now that's gonna cook it was supposed to be low for six I'm gonna do high for four um, just because it's now that I had to get her and feed her, it's getting closer to two. So I'm going to try putting it on high for four. Obviously, the meat's already cooked, so I'm not too concerned. And then the last 30 minutes, we'll put the other ingredients in. We'll see how it goes. So I am totally watching Superstore and those that recommended it. I am freaking loving this show. This is one of those shows that like you really like, like one episode in. Right? A uh, small shout out to the Basin White Body Butter. Um, Basin is a like bath and body kind of a store in Disney. They have one in the Grand Floridian Resort there in Disney World and then also a huge Basin store in like the downtown Disney, Disney Springs area. So I love going in there, but this is the body butter and it smells unbelievable. This is vanilla grapefruit. It really just smells more like vanilla, which is what I like. They also have, let me show you in my shower. I feel a little dark. Um, where is it? Oh, down here. The sugar scrub. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. I use it all over my body and it is like, I leave the shower and I'm like, I feel like an actual goddess. So I'm telling you, it's crazy. No, this is not sponsored. They sent me these a long time ago, but I've bought tons of stuff from Basin with my own money over the years. So it was exciting when they reached out because I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know who I am? <laughs> but I just love it and I love this as well. One task I have is to actually like clean all of this up. Um, I feel like I've just got like tons of eyeshadow palettes out right now. Um, I need to get those like in my actual eye palette drawer here, which was organized just, oh, days ago. And now it is suddenly not, um, it gets tricky though. Cause this palette is so big that it just takes up room, you know, like I can't put it up high because then I can't shut the drawer. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but I've been reaching for these single shadows a lot more, which is exciting. Um, just tons of shadows I've had over the years that there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, so I've been grabbing for that a lot. I need to get, I realize, a new, my favorite single shadow other than like the Wet n Wild Brulee is the shade from MAC called Rice Paper. Do they still sell that? I need to buy that again. That is the prettiest lid shade, in my opinion, ever. It's like a really light almond color, but it's got a slight yellow tint to it and it's slightly shimmer. It is so beautiful. Um, anyway, but like there's certain things I'm like, I didn't really like this and it still won't shut so um like do I go ahead and pass this on I might move it to like <laughs> where I'm gonna move my NYX uh can't stop won't stop foundation I have an area in my closet over there where I put things that I'm not enjoying so that I can mention them either in like a monthly favorites video where I say what I didn't like or um if I do like a roundup video of a bunch of products I didn't like I still have body butter on my finger anyway um so maybe I'll move those over there. You guys know this Violet Voss palette, the Holy Grail palette is truly one of my favorite palettes of all time. I don't even really dip into the reds very often. I love this top, the top three rows. Like I use Transition and Bestie constantly in the crease. Uh, this reminds me of the Wet n Wild Brulee. These shimmers are freaking gorgeous. I really like Ploof, Crystal, Toffee, and Cool Beans. I use Bat My Eyes, Brownie Points, and Teddy Bear like in the outer corner a lot. Um, so I really, I don't use these very often. There's nothing wrong with them, but I just, I just don't. And that's slightly too orange for me. 
but everything else, this is just an amazing palette that I feel like no one really talks about anymore, but I'm like, uh, this truly is incredible and I use it all of the time. Um, I already shared my feelings on this. Uh, you'll see in a video very soon, my Ulta haul, and I am enjoying. This, the Born to Run, I'm really liking, um, but I do feel like sometimes I feel like it's missing something. It's kind of missing a kind of lighter medium brown, like Riff there is kind of dark for me. And I just, I just want something right in between, like between Weekender and Riff. And I just never feel like I can get a complete look with this. Unless I do like a single shadow look. So there you go. Um, and then I've been playing with this. You'll see my thoughts in this in my anti-haul video. Actually, I might be putting up today or tomorrow. Because um, that's what I'm going to go edit next, I think. But I just think this is crazy expensive for the price, you guys. Again, I'm playing with it. They sent it to me, and I'm always real with you guys if I like it or not, regardless of how excited I was and am to be on the PR list. I'm enjoying the Safari palette more. I just am because, again, very different colors, but I just feel like it's even more blendable. I just end up liking her mattes a little bit more than her shimmers. I don't know. That's what I'm realizing over the years. Um, but they also sent this, and I actually have used this, and I've loved the looks I've used with it. Um, this is that, it's not the, it's the camel palette. These have like two shimmers and three mattes. And I actually, those are very, very similar. So I wish it was like swapped out with like a matte beige. Um, but regardless, I really, I'm, I've enjoyed this palette. I know some of the tiny ones, like I have her, I have her tiny, like mini star palette. And I think this is just okay. Um, I own the star palette. Actually, did I get rid of it? I used to own the star palette. I thought I still did, but I think I finally got rid of it because I was like, I'm just not using it. I think this is fine. I just don't think it's quite as good as like her main palettes, but even still, I don't think her main palettes are worth the price. I wish, I mean, they could slash the price in half and they would still be expensive, but at least slightly more reasonable. But out of all of these, I really am enjoying this one more than I ever would have guessed. So go figure, right? Um, but yeah, so some other palettes I've kept is obviously my sultry palette. You guys know I love my soft glam from Anastasia. Anastasia. My naked palette. I got rid of naked two and three. I've got my chocolate bar palette. Um, just a couple of things. My Vizart. Oh my gosh, my Milani ones I love. My Persona one I love. Um, these CoverGirl ones I'm really enjoying there. So, um stuff and then that's about it I mean I've got a few singles and I have a few things like in random other drawers but and I've, I've really been enjoying the Jaclyn Hill palette lately too figures you might want an update on my palette collection I would kind of share that with you I've like I said I've gotten a lot of new in I feel like I need to um remember what I already have though I'm making myself laugh again if you go into Burlington Coat Factory with $129 you are literally a king <laughs> <laughs> seriously can you name that tv show I wanted to show you some things I just ordered. Oh, Hot Look, I'm obsessed with Hot Look. I bought Tyler some new shoes, I'm gonna show you. Um, this, uh, what is this? Like a hoodie I got from Z by Zella. So basically Hot Look, it, everything's like half off. And so it's a bunch of department store brands and they'll, they'll, like, the brands will be on there for a couple days, but it was so soft inside. And then I needed like normal boot socks, like not crazy high socks, but just like normal socks. I hadn't bought any in years. Um, so this is the brand 14th and Union. I just like that they were all like dark ones. So I'm actually excited to have these. <laughs> like weirdly excited about these socks. And then Taylor hasn't seen these yet, but he needed some new tennis shoes just for like that go along with like a lot of normal outfits and jeans. Not necessarily for running, if that makes sense. Even though I think technically these are running shoes. Look how nice these are though. They were like think like 45 instead of like 100 or something insane but I think these look really nice and they're like this really cool gray I think he's gonna like them I don't know what do you guys think I feel like the white's a little high on the side but that's also kind of in so he probably won't care these undershirts shirts like suck you in at the waist and I was like oh I need those <laughs> who doesn't right like oh my gosh so what brand was this I bought a black and a white. Where's the tag? There it is. Um, the brand is real. I'll see if I can find a link because some of this, basically Hope Look and Nordstrom Rack are like 
sister sites because Hotlook is a Nordstrom brand. So Hotlook will have the flash sales, but Nordstrom Rack, you're ordering from the same thing, you're adding to the same cart. So some of these are from Nordstrom Rack where they're still on there, you know what I mean? So I'll see if I can find links to these things I'm showing you. I also got Juju things. So since he's, she's teething like crazy, this is the, it's like a silicone little teether. And plus she just likes playing with things like this. So even if she didn't like it on her little teethies, she might just like to play with it. So I got that. And then I got her some clothes. Let me get these out of the bag so I can show you. So this is actually 18 months. So I'm gonna put it away for the next year, but it was so simple and cute. It's just, it's Harper Canyon. The sleeves kind of like, flare out. I just thought it was adorable and it looks so cute with tights or leggings and boots on her because by then, well, she'll definitely be walking. Um, and then this actually will fit her at nine months. So it's more of like a spring. I figure she'd wear it, but it's just, I love these kinds of almost like they're sleepers, but you can wear them out. I mean, the babies can wear them out because they don't necessarily have the feetsies, which I like. And I think she likes too, because she likes being barefoot. So anyway, I thought this was perfect. It, it, I could put it on her now. It'll just be a little big, but I think she'll like that. And I thought it was a really pretty kind of lavender color. And the brand of this is PL Baby, which I've never bought anything from this brand before. Um, Yeah, this Z, Zella, whatever hoodie is crazy comfy, crazy like thin and cozy. I literally want one in every color. Oh no, oh no, I love it so much. <laughs> I'm just mad because the Disney website's not getting along with him right always. now. Ugh. Anyway. I hope you like these. I do too. I need some new like walking things. That's what I was kind of saying, not necessarily. Aren't those good looking? Yeah. And like the thicker white's really in style because at first I was like, is oh, that like- the Smell of like new shoes, man. Yeah. It smells like, like finish line. <laughs> yeah, in a good way. Hit me, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hidden Mickey. Uh -huh. Hidden polygonal. Polygonal? That can't be right. No. Alex Trebek said it. We were playing Jeopardy last night in bed, and I, he said the word, and I couldn't remember how he said it, but I was like, that's not how I say it, but he would know. Who cares? Anyway. You don't remember what the word was? I think it was, it was, well, I say polygonal. I know that can't, it's probably polygonal, and I think that's what he said. Just like polygamy. Interesting. It's like, it's like it a goes flexible, all the way up, yeah. I mean, and that's probably where I think Those legs really go all the way up. Um, it what? says Nike Flex Experience RN7, in case you were curious. Tyler's <laughs> got his new shoes on with his pajama pants. So, so, <laughs> so I was doing, so I was trying them on and I'm doing all this stupid stuff. And Jessica's talking about Ellen DeGeneres has a new stand-up special on Netflix, which I am so excited to watch because she's like my favorite She's so time. funny. But Jessica's talking about how, she talks about how like you're like you do the stupidest stuff that you would never like. I would never. When you're trying know. on shoes, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Oh, that feels nice. Am I running track and field? Like, why am I getting? <laughs> why do I care if it's so flexible in the tub? Then, like, then... <laughs> it's your Stop it. You're gonna make me pee my pants. You're real good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do in these shoes? This is what I'm gonna do in these shoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just simply walking. They look really good. Yeah, this is good. Really good with the PJ pants. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, stop. I'm gonna pull up the video so you can watch it. Okay. Watching it now. These are good if I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tyler. She's so funny. <laughs> she... <laughs> I'll link this little like preview video down below. It's like a couple minutes. <laughs> Just added the uh, little bits of pasta and the two things of like chive and onion cream cheese. So I'm gonna kind of stir it a bit. Okay, we just got back from a walk, which was very chilly, but we just did a short little like 10 minute walk just because Pinocchio needs that. <laughs> and we need to get out of the house every once in a while too. So uh, we just got back. I'm gonna try and uh, finish up these carpets. I haven't really vlogged much today because I've been at my desk trying to play catch up on work stuff from the weekend. Um, so I'm now going to f try and finish shampooing these carpets. And then Jessica, uh, we did like a crock pot meal tonight and it's, it smells so good. So I'm very excited to eat that. Um, and I think we're gonna try and do like a movie tonight. Then after that, um, Jessica is gonna be editing Vlogmas and I'm gonna try and make some banana bread because we have bananas that have gone bad. So, oh, and then I'm gonna try and make our second uh, Branson vlog live tonight as well. So it'll probably go live around the time this is going live. Um, <clears throat> so if you wanna check that out. And then that's it. So pretty exciting night. Oh, and then we got laundry. We gotta finish laundry. There's always laundry. <laughs> How good this turned out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've already tried it, of course, and it is delicious. Tyler, you're going to love it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Gigi? You 
chewing on the side. <laughs> it never fails. I did an anti-haul, it went up today. I'm always nervous when I upload anti-hauls because there's always a handful of people that are so mad that I'm talking negatively about things. I'm like, okay, well, that's my job. So, <laughs> I mean, anyway, but for the most part, very positive response from you guys. I love watching anti-hauls. I've been doing them for a while. In all of the other ones I've done, at least as far as I can remember, I've always brought up the creator of the anti-haul idea, which is, who is Kimberly Clark? Um, I've always mentioned her. I've always linked her channel, etc. I honestly didn't even think to do it for this video. Like, it just didn't cross my mind because anti-hauls have been become so mainstream. So many people do them, and they don't all call them anti-hauls. They call, you know, whatever, but the same idea. So I just didn't even think to bring up the creator because that'd be like saying... Oh, well, someone created a what's in my bag video, and so we all have to credit that person till the end of time. Well, no, when that video became big, no one had any idea eventually who did it. Anyway, regardless, I guess what I'm saying is I didn't think to bring her up, and there are a couple people like, I can't believe you wouldn't credit Kimberly Clark with this. I'm like, I wasn't doing it to be like it's my original idea or anything. I mean, I've talked about Kimberly Clark in every other anti-all video. Like at a certain point, you stop calling out who started it because so many people are also doing the video. Anyway, am I being crazy? I don't think I'm being crazy. Anyway, I'm going to move on. I got to let it go. Tyler's giving Gigi a bath. Sounds like he just took her out of the bath because she's now upset. She loves the bath, hates getting out. I mean, really, do any of us like getting out of bath? It's cold, you know? <laughs> anyway, so he's going to get her to sleep tonight so I can edit this Vlogmas. And we're going to try to get some dishes done. We might play a little Jeopardy in bed again because that was so much fun last night. Um, and then on to tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, Benita is going to be babysitting Gigi here. So that will be nice. And also tomorrow's Vlogmas will be on Tyler's channel. Tyler Travels TV. So definitely head over there and subscribe. We were wondering, um, I'm always curious who watches these to the end, but if any of you guys have ideas for, like we are planning to actually continue vlogs throughout the year. Um, we've always done them, but I guess people just didn't know. So we do Vlogmas in December and we call it Vlogmas so you guys can see like, oh, this is part of this vlog series. Well, we were like, well, what could we call it if it's just like like this, our daily life vlogs that we're going to do throughout the year. We're wanting to do like two or three a week, um, but they will all be on Tyler's channel. So they won't be on mine at all. So you guys would have to be subscribed to him to even know about it. So we were trying to think of like a clever name for every video. Like, you know, with ours, we call it Vlogmas Day 1 and then whatever happened that day. We want a name for our daily life videos throughout the year. So if you can think of any, let us know down below. Um... Because we were, we were trying to think of it. We were on a walk earlier. And I was like, I can't think of anything that's like clever, but like not so clever that you wouldn't get it as an outsider. I want it to make sense. Anyway, do you understand what I'm asking for? I hope so. Anyway, so I <laughs> just had my leg up and fell off. Um, so I am going to go edit this. Sorry that Tyler's not saying goodnight, but you'll see him tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around for the rest of Vlogmas and our future vlogs on his channel. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.